up, boys and girls. Today's read aloud is called A Well-Balanced Diet. In the last read aloud, we talked about four basic nutrients needed by the human body. Do you remember what those are? Water, carbohydrates, protein, and fats. What are the two other nutrients that the body needs in smaller amounts? Vitamins and minerals. Well, today we're going to learn more about each one of these nutrients so that you will be better able to plan healthy meals for yourselves. Take a minute and close your eyes. Imagine your favorite grocery stores. Now think about the aisles in the grocery store that you enjoy going down the most. I want you to listen carefully to find out in which area of the grocery store you should spend most of your time and why. But before we start our read aloud, Let's take a look at a few of the words we're going to hear today in our story. Get your vocabulary books ready. The first word you have today that I'd like you to add to your vocabulary books is moderate or moderation. Moderation is the act of keeping things within a middle range. They're neither too great or too little. Add the word moderate or moderation in your vocabulary books. The next word or phrase you'll hear today is well-balanced diet. And that's the title of our read aloud. A well-balanced diet means that you eat lots of different foods and eat them in proper proportions. Not too big, not too small. Add well-balanced diet to your vocabulary books. The next word you're going to hear today is fiber. Fiber is the part of plant foods that your body can't digest or can't absorb. The next word you'll hear today is scan. Scan means to look around an area quickly. Scan. And the last word that we're going to focus on today is the word variety. Variety means a range of different things, not just one thing all the time. Think about variety, a wide variety or a range of things. If you could eat whatever you wanted, what would you choose? Would it be a breakfast meal of cereal, orange juice, and toast? Maybe pancakes loaded with butter and syrup with a side of bacon or sausage? Perhaps you choose a juicy hamburger with french fries and slaw. What about pizza or shrimp lo mein? Maybe you'd favor enchiladas or slovaki. Or would you choose a fish taco and tomato soup? You each have different favorites, I'm sure. Hopefully, as you learn more about nutrition and the nutrients your body needs, you'll begin to think more about what you eat, making wise choices so that you can maintain a healthy body throughout your life. Providing the body with nutrients it needs is an essential part of staying healthy. Have you ever heard someone say, variety is the spice of life? That usually means that you should spend your time doing lots of different things, but it holds true for your diet as well. You've learned that the body needs variety, a variety of nutrients that come from a variety of foods. Your body makes most of its building blocks from proteins and carbohydrates, but it needs fats and lots of water too. And don't forget about vitamins and minerals, their nutrients too. The best way to make sure that you're getting all the nutrients you need is to eat a well-balanced diet. What do you suppose that means? Well, for one thing, it means you don't have to give up your favorite foods, even if they may not be the healthiest ones on the planet. Just don't eat pizza or fried chicken at every meal. My dad used to say, eat in moderation. He meant that I shouldn't eat too much or too little of any one thing. I love chocolate chip cookies so much that I could easily eat a whole batch, but I had to learn to eat slowly and be satisfied with one or two. Balancing your diet with lots of different foods is important. Think about all the different nutrients your body needs. These nutrients come from a variety of foods. A well-balanced diet includes grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy, meats, fish, and fats. Do you remember which one of the four basic nutrients is contained in grains? Is it carbohydrates or fats? That's right, it's carbohydrates. Grains also contain small amounts of protein and fats, but carbohydrates make up the largest amount of nutrients in grains. There is a lot of variety when it comes to choosing a grain for dinner. Grains could include rice, pasta, bread, and cereal. Think of all the many types of pasta alone. Spaghetti, 
macaroni, penne, rigatoni, the list goes on and on. If you have a choice between brown rice and white rice, brown rice contains more nutrients. The same is true of bread. Whole wheat bread is better for you than white bread. When choosing a cereal, find one that isn't loaded with extra sugar. You learn that the body needs energy and that most of its energy comes from carbohydrates. That's because the body breaks down large carbohydrates like starch and potatoes or spaghetti into smaller carbohydrates like sugar, which contains lots of energy that the body can use. Table sugar comes from the roots and the stems of plants, like sugar beets and sugar cane, and will give you instant energy. But the kind of sugars found in potatoes or pasta are much better for you than digging into the sugar bowl or reaching for a candy bar. Both give you energy, but candy gives you a quick burst of energy that is soon gone, whereas the energy in potatoes and pasta lasts much longer because it's released into your body much more slowly. If you're hungry, a baked potato will satisfy your hunger much longer than a handful of chocolate candy. What other foods are rich in carbohydrates? Yes, fruits and vegetables, apples, bananas, carrots, and broccoli, they all provide your body with energy. Just like grains, the natural breakdown of sugar from a fresh piece of fruit is far better for you than a hot fudge sundae. Choose a naturally sweet tasting beet or an ear of sweet corn over eating a teaspoon of sugar from the sugar bowl. Next time you go to the grocery store, scan or look around quickly at the produce section for some fruits and vegetables that maybe you haven't tried. Have you ever tried kohlrabi or kiwi fruit? Remember, variety is the spice of life. In the lesson on the digestive system, you learn that the body was not able to process some foods, so they leave the body as waste. Fiber is a very important carbohydrate and is one kind of waste. Fiber is the part of the plant foods that your body can't digest or absorb. Or absorb. Since your body can't digest it, fiber is not a nutrient, but a good diet should include lots of fiber to help keep things moving along in the digestive tract. Oranges, pears, berries, peas, and nuts will give you the fiber that you need. Meat, fish, eggs, and dairy are all good sources of protein, and they are all animal products. Some people are vegetarians, meaning that they do not eat meat. And some people are vegans, meaning they don't eat meat or use any animal products such as eggs, cheese, milk, or meat. We know how important protein is for the growth and repair of our bodies. So are there other ways that vegetarians or vegans get the protein they need? Yes, indeed. Certain combinations of grain, corn, and beans contain all the protein that your body needs. Good combinations include beans and brown rice, hummus and pita bread or lentils with a green salad. Nuts are rich in protein too, as are all soybean products like tofu and soy milk. Yogurt is another good source of protein. Just limit the sweetened flavored varieties because of the added sugars. Let's not forget the fats in your well-balanced diet. Meat and dairy products contain lots of fat, and butter and oils are nearly 100% fat. They are the backup energy source when your body needs a boost but most of the fat you need is already stored in your body. Each day you only need the amount of fat contained in about one tablespoon of vegetable oil to keep your body healthy. Many of us eat much more than, eat much more than that. Fat is a little like sugar. It contains important nutrients, but they are very few compared to other foods. Foods rich in vitamins like fresh fruits and vegetables are a much better choice than greasy fried foods made with lots of fat. Too much fat can make you overweight and cause damage to your heart and your blood. Have you ever heard that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Do you know why? The word breakfast means to break the fast. You fast or don't eat every night when you sleep. That's a long time to go without food. Both your body and your brain need to be recharged in the morning. So you need to break the fast with breakfast. Without food, you may feel tired and grumpy because you don't have all the energy you need to get going in the morning. You may stumble over math problems thinking 5 plus 7 equals 20 or skip over a line in your reader so that your sentences are all mumbo-jumbo. 
Think about starting every day with some healthy proteins and carbohydrates so that both your body and your brain are at their best. Generally speaking, the fresher the food, the better it is for you. That is why it makes sense to spend more time in the produce aisle of the grocery store instead of stocking up on packaged food like potato chips, canned spaghetti, and frozen chicken nuggets. These processed foods often have lots of added salt and sugar and are stripped of the vitamins and the minerals that your body needs. If you do choose packaged foods, make a habit of checking the labels on the outside wrappers before adding them to your cart. Food labels tell how big a serving is, which essential nutrients are provided, and the quantities of each nutrient per serving. It's important to limit the amount of food eaten that is high in sodium, high in sugar, or high in fat. Check out the label from a can of soda. Did you know that there are 10 teaspoons of sugar in one soda? Sodas have no nutritional value, cause tooth decay, and put on unhealthy pounds. What would be a better choice of beverage? Water is always best, but milk and fruit juices contain vitamins and minerals, so they're good choices too, in small amounts. The next time you go to the grocery store, look in your grocery cart and see if the foods you've chosen are part of a well-balanced diet. Remember to eat a variety of foods with more fruits and vegetables than anything else. Next time you eat a big plate of macaroni and cheese, think about adding twice as many dark leafy greens to your plate.